Hello YouTube, hello Internet, it's Irix Guy here. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to talk about some of the new uh, YouTube features, uh, primarily the features that are available now for YouTube partners. Now YouTube partners are people that have been selected to have the ability to monetize their videos. So in essence, a YouTube partner can embed a, uh, an advertisement, and if someone views or clicks that advertisement, I don't know all the specifics, but they when the advertisement's clicked or viewed or whatever, they do receive a, a, a small amount of uh, ad revenue. So it's a great way to, uh, to make a little bit of money on the side. I know a lot of people are really big into this, and some people even, it, that's now their career, <laughs> is uh, monetizing YouTube videos. Now, I'm, I'm of course not anywhere near uh, that level, but... I have learned a lot of tricks and stuff along the way, and one thing I'd like to point out in this video are some of the new features uh, that are available. And I, they were turned on. I, I noticed it a few days ago, uh, but if you go into your uh, if you go into your videos, there's now an option. If if you select monetize, you now have a couple of options, and one of them is enable overlay in video ads. And the other one is enable TrueView in-stream ads. Now you can check either or you can check both. Uh, the enable overlay in video ads, that's a traditional, uh, the traditional ad like, like you've seen in the past. If you're a YouTube partner, you've got a video that's monetized, you'll see the little box pop up that contains the, uh, the advertisement. Now, there's a new uh, a new feature, and this is what's really neat, the, the part that just became available for YouTube partners. It's the Enable True, True View in Stream Ads. Now, what that'll do, before your monetized YouTube video begins playing, it'll play a video advertisement at the beginning. It'll give the, use, the, the viewer the option to opt out after a few seconds. Now, if they do that, my understanding is that the person monetizing the video does not receive any ad revenue. But if they happen to watch the entire advertisement at the beginning before they watch your YouTube video, then that YouTube partner should receive uh, ad revenue as a result of that. Now, I turned this on the other day uh, for the first time literally yesterday, and I have noticed a difference. Now, what I did, and, and of course I won't mention any numbers here because that's uh, that, that information is not to be shared, but uh, what I did, I, I enabled both the Enable Overlay in Video Ads and the Enable True View in Stream Ads. Now, I'm not really sure what type of criteria causes the, the in Stream Ad to play at the beginning. I know that in every scenario, there, there's, not a, uh, there's not an in Stream Ad available. So that's why I clicked uh, both in video and in stream. So if by chance there's not an in stream ad to play at the beginning, it'll then play the uh, the traditional in video ad. You know the little box that pops up in the video. Now keep in mind though, if the in stream ad plays before the video, the box ad within the video will not play. So you're not going to get both. You, you should get either or. At least that's been my experience with it so far. Now, what's the advantage to uh, to a true view in stream at the beginning as opposed to a traditional box type ad? The uh, you know the overlay in video ad. Well, well, one obvious advantage is that it plays automatically when the user starts the video. So, unless they opt out of it, it's there might be a greater probability of of receiving ad revenue. And of course, the disadvantage is is that if if people after that five seconds or whatever just auto you know automatically click uh, don't want to watch the ad, then that might not generate as much uh, ad revenue for uh, for a YouTube partner. Now, of course, you know a day or so is is not really long enough to gauge whether or not it's better to have <clears throat> both. Uh, well, not both, but I did select both for all. But ultimately, what's going to happen is going to play the true view in stream if that's available. So, at least that's the way I've got it set up. So, it'll be interesting to see how the ad revenue earnings 
with both enabled, which you know most of them are going to play the ad at the beginning, how that compares to a month with only the uh, the old fashioned uh, overlay in video ads. So that's that's all I've got here. I mean, I'm I'm not an expert with this, but I I did uh, run across this question. So if if you were curious what the new option does, I hope this video is a value for you. And I'd like to thank everyone on the forums. I did a lot of uh, Google searches and and found this information. So I don't know if it's if it's 100% accurate, but I hope it's uh, value. And uh, feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube and have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye.